<clears throat> Come on in, everybody. Let's take a moment. Uh, Come on in. Happy New Year. Oh, yeah, that's right. Happy New Year, everybody. Oh, yo, this, this year went so fast. It went too fast, to be honest. I mean, yeah, that's nice. You know, this used to be um, my uncle's land store. Mm -hmm. um, Y'all, I'm on my way to, well, we're on our way to Harlem because today is supposed to be, well, today is my pre-op for my surgery. Now, I have not spoken to the insurance and I have not been able to get in touch with my doctor. So, technically, I don't know if I am approved. I heard uh, my um, the receptionist at the clinics at the hospital said that I was um, qualified. qualified for the surgery, but never said I was approved. So when I asked her whether I approved, she said, "Oh, I can't tell you that. I I can just tell you it says here that you are qualified." So I'm like, huh. and I don't know if a lot of y'all know it or not, but I had gastric sleeve in 2021. Man, 2021. Don't seem that long. But I had the gastric sleeve. And um, what I found out through someone on YouTube is that when you have the gastric sleeve, that you are supposedly automatically um, approved for skin removal surgery. Now, it's basically tummy tuck, thigh lift, arm lift, breast lift, back lift, anything that has to do with um, the skin sagging on your body after a weight loss surgery, whether it's gastric sleeve or gastric bypass you are supposedly automatically approved for that surgery. It's basically like part of the package. So if you have a gastric sleeve, they know that you're coming from a high weight and they know that there's gonna be hanging skin, which is gonna be um, irritating to you. It's gonna cause rashes. It's gonna cause sores. It might even cause uh, openings like cuts and stuff like that to your skin. So they automatically or supposedly automatically approves the surgery. So y'all, my highest weight was 324. And um, yeah, so I didn't, I mean, my skin hangs. It don't hang like a lot of these women skin. Hang, it hangs enough. It don't hang like, you know, like crazy. You know what I'm saying? But it hangs enough. You know what I'm saying? It's too much for my liking. So I wanted to go take that, take care of that. Now, before I found out about this whole situation, my husband was going to pay for me to get my uh, thigh lift, my arm lift, my breast lift, whatever I wanted. He told me, just book it. I'll pay for it. Go ahead. But then I happen to, you know, I'll be watching YouTube videos. And I came across this girl, um, what is her name? I forgot her name, but um, I think her name is Kimberly. And she said, and on the title of her video, it says, um, my insurance paid for my cosmetic surgery. So I was like, what? It, it piqued my curiosity. So I was like, let me check this out. So um, she said she had um, Medicaid with um, um, Medicaid and um, some kind of some something else mixed with Medicaid and Metro Metro Plus. I, I think she said Metro Plus and Medicaid. And she said it paid for her um, surgery. So. 
I called around blah 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 and then it was like oh no you know insurance don't pay for um you know this type of procedure you know tummy tuck that's a cosmetic thing so I was like well what she's talking about what is she talking about because I did some research and they said no so what is she talking about but the thing is I didn't look up what I, I didn't look up the right thing I was looking up you know whether or not surgery pays for cosmetic surgery what I should have put looked up is does cosmetic pay for skin removal surgery after a uh, um, VSG see that was the key so when I looked that up I found out yeah it do so I told my husband I said listen I've had the gastric sleeve so if I if insurance will pay for it free of charge then why spend your money thousands of dollars to pay for it when insurance will cover it so he told me he said well find out first what they cover exactly and we move from there so now the thing is you can't go there saying I want a tummy tuck because as far as they could see everything here is wording everything is wording if you say tummy tuck then they're not going to do it because they're going to figure you're looking for some kind of cosmetic type surgery you have to say skin removal surgery I need skin removal surgery now the skin removal surgery and a tummy tuck it's the same thing it's the exact same thing but it's the way you have to, to, to word it when you dealing with the insurance companies. You cannot say tummy tuck when you're dealing with insurance. You have to say skin removal surgery because anything cosmetic or anything that sounds like it's gonna be a cosmetic surgery or cosmetic anything, they assume that you're looking for a free ride to cosmetic surgery. You know what I'm saying? And they're not going to pay for that. It has to be medically, um, uh, medically worded. Just say it like that. So skin removal surgery. But they do the, basically they do the exact same thing. Especially if you're, if you have a doctor that is, um, a really nice doctor and stuff like that. And he'll tell you, look, this is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? They, they tighten up the muscles. They, they'll they tell you, just like my doctor said, if you need tightening of the muscles, diastasis, we'll, we'll correct that and, this, and then we'll, you know, take off the excess skin. It's the, basically the exact same thing as the tummy tuck. Only difference is, is the wording. So you just have to watch your wording. Y so anyway, that's where we are right now we're on our way there we're still in Brooklyn so we have to go to Harlem which we have to go over the bridge and all of that to Harlem and uh yeah so once I get there I speak to the doctor now my my surgery is uh supposedly Monday today is the 2nd of January and my surgery is Monday on the 8th so when I get to the doctor today uh, I will know definitely whether or not insurance proof, approved me. And if I if I was approved, then I will let y'all know. If I wasn't, then I just have to go through, um, you know, cash. You know, but why spend cash when you can get it done through your medical insurance? You know what I'm saying? Save your pockets. But once I get there, if I'm approved, then they're going to do some examinations. And then I, I, I do believe I have to uh, do a chest x-ray. I have to do, I have to take blood. They're going to look over my body and see, you know, what they have to do, where they have to cut, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. And yeah, and then um, I should be given some supplies, you know, um, to take home, what to do. Given, I, I should be given instructions on what to do the night before surgery, what not to eat, what to eat, what time to stop eating, um, 
if I'm on any kind of uh, blood thinner medication, if I take an aspirin for um, headache, anything to stop doing that a week before and stuff like that. You know, I've had surgery before, so that's usually what they tell you. You know, if you're taking aspirin for anything, headache, whatever, stop taking it a week before and stuff like that. So I'll get the all the ins and outs of, of everything, what I need to do before surgery. Every surgery is different. Uh, every surgery is serious. So I uh, have to make sure that I'm listening very well to uh, what the doctor is saying. And that's another reason why uh, my husband is here is because um, he has very good ears when it comes to taking in information. So a lot of times I'll forget things, but he, you know, he has a mind and a, a memory of an elephant. So, um, well, not the mind of an elephant, but the memory of an elephant. But um, yeah, so that's that's about it. And uh, <clears throat> if I can video some of my um, consultation, then I will. If I can't, then I will let y'all know what was said uh, during my visit. So, <sighs> yeah, I've been nervous. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been nervous. I don't know why. I've had surgeries before. I've never been nervous before, but I'm nervous this time. I'm not nervous at this precise moment, but for the past couple of days, I've been on and off thinking about it and got, got nervous. A couple of times, I even told my husband, I don't know if I'm doing it. I'm thinking about canceling and all this and that. So, and he was like, you know, wow, what's the, what, what's the difference between now and the other times you had surgery? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't understand why I'm nervous this time. But, uh, yeah, I'm nervous. But I'm trying to shake that feeling. Because I know God, God has me. So, and I'm going to be prayed up. And I'm going to have my husband pray. I'm going to have my mother pray. My kids pray and all that. So, I'm going to be prayed up. So, I don't know. But, um, anyway, yeah. So, I'm going to go and I will talk to y'all when I'm done. Later.